Hey guys, I'm EJ Nishimari here, and today we're going to be recording one of our first Mount Rushmore videos. Now, when you think of Mount Rushmore, a lot of people do top fives, but this one's a little tougher because it's a top four, and mm -hmm. you got to think about not just how great the show, great, great the thing you're talking about is, but the it, cultural impact of that show. So this one, we're going to be talking about the top animated superhero shows of all time. Now, to be clear, the, we're not doing all superheroes, so no Powerpuff Girls, no. but just superhero shows related to comic books or comic book characters. This is a very interesting conversation, Shamar. We, we love yep. superhero animated shows, so I think it should be a fun discussion. I think our mm -hmm. list is going to be very different. Yeah, it wasn't going to be very different. I already know right off the bat, they're going to be very different. You know, try not to get too heated. Okay, I, 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 I try I, not to get too heated. I've had I've had my tea. I'm zen. I'm be as zen as possible. All right. I know Shamari can be a little bit on the beaten path. So Shamari, why don't you start first? What is your Mount Rushmore of superhero animated TV shows? All right. So my Mount Rushmore. At number one, I got Justice League Unlimited. Justice League Unlimited, classic show. Um, number two, I've got Young Justice. Young Justice, another great one. Number three, I got Batman, the animated series. Another another great one. Number four, this is going to kind of be a curveball. You got to hear me out. I got Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Whoa! Batman, the Brave and the Bold is... is <laughs> that Dude, is, this, this shocked face, we did not talk see, about this before, this yeah, shocked face is completely legitimate. Yeah, it's a completely legit, legitimate what? shocked face. I love Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Okay, before you get into your list, first of all, do you have any honor, honorable mentions? Before yeah. we get in? Um, my, my, uh, since uh, we're restricting ourselves to two honorable mentions, I've got Spectacular, no, yeah, well, yeah, Spectacular uh, Spider-Man, and I've got um, uh, Batman Beyond. Those are my two honorable mentions. Wow. Which, we got a lot to talk yeah, about. So let me get to my <laughs> list quickly so we can get to what Shamari just said. By Batman and Brave and the Bull. Okay, so my Mount Rushmore includes Batman the Animated Series. We got that right. It includes X Men the Animated Series. Okay. It includes Justice League Unlimited slash Justice League. I just counted both of them together. I know okay. the show the show just rebranded, but I think they're kind of all the same. And then my last one was um, Spectacular Spider Man. Okay. So. Uh, and what were your uh, honorable? And my honorable mentions, you know what? The Spectacular Spider-Man Young Justice argument is so tough. I am a Young Justice stan. I think I want to see what Young Justice does when it comes back to the DC platform before I say, okay. for sure, it's a Mount Rushmore. Because I know what Spectacular Spider-Man's impact is, it's kind of a closed chapter and closed book, I'm willing to just give it that, that, that billing right now. But Young Justice can take that spot for me. Mm -hmm. And my other show actually is going to be um, the 1960s Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, uh, I think cool. that that's a, a cultural, a culturally iconic show. Um, it kind of, it, just like how you could say Iron Man started off for the MCU, I can argue that Spider-Man started off for all superhero cartoons. Um, mm -hmm. The stories were super original or super close to the, to the comic books. And I, I just think that's great. But you got to explain this Batman Brave and the Bold thing. Because okay. that's just something that I, I really was not surprised, really not expecting. And I'm yeah, curious and, to see and, what you and when, So when the show first aired, you know, and Kendall knows this, I wasn't expecting anything from the show. I was like, okay, Batman and the Brave and the Bold, what's with this art? Why does it look so right. But it, it has such, I feel like this is another thing that um, I think is exceptional about the show. It takes the old school retro Batman. Right. And like modernizes him and makes him cool. And it's also the first, um, I would say it's probably the, the, the best iteration, of, the iteration of Batman that makes him look the most powerful. Because this is Batman where he has sidekicks who have all these crazy superpowers. Sure. But he's still way better than them. Right. He's yeah. still way smarter than them. Yeah. He outsmarts them. He has to like tell them to stop doing all this crazy stuff with their powers while he uses all of his amazing gadgets and uh, I don't know. I just thought the show was, honestly, I think the show was brilliantly done. And I kind of, I honestly don't watch it enough. I mean, Brave and, and I think the it's Bull, very underrated. Brave honestly. and the Bull, I agree, is an underrated show. The problem I have with the Brave and the Bull being in a Mount Rushmore is, one, obviously, cultural impact. I don't think that people think okay. about that show. There's so many other Batman shows I think people think about before that one. I think you think about Batman Beyond. 
Batman anime series. I kind of include Justice League as a Batman show. So, and I think the Batman. Um, not to say that it's worse than most of those, but I just don't think people think about it enough. And I think it's a little cookie cutter. You know, it was the same platform for the same kind of episode. Not the same kind of episode necessarily, but it was kind of team up, you know, Freak of the Week villain, yeah. and that was it. It was great at what it did, but I think it didn't push the envelope enough for me to say that that's a Mount Rushmore show. So I can't have it on there. That's a bold statement. I do agree it's underrated, but I, I can't say Batman and Brave and the Bold is a Mount Rushmore. Uh, but I, I understand it. What's the what's the deal with... Uh, we both said Spectacular Spider-Man, Young Justice mm-hmm. being... You had Young Justice in, I had yeah. Spectacular Spider-Man in. Why, why the, that decision? Um... I had Young Justice in because um, I feel like that's one of the only uh, one of the only animated series um, in any for anything that I thought was like actually a really great like just show that I feel like anyone can enjoy. Sure. Whether you're a fan of superhero stuff or not, Mm -hmm. I just feel like it was a very well told story. Um, Spectacular Spider Man. um, Yeah, Spectacular Spider Man. I left off. Uh, it just, I was so close to nicking out Batman the Brave and the Bold and switching it with Spectacular Spider Man. But, uh, and I know, I know this is going to make you go, might make you go a little crazy too. Okay. But I feel like Spectacular Spider Man didn't, um, like it was kind of not cookie cutter, but it was just like, I feel like it didn't add much to the the ethos of Spider Man, where oh, Batman yeah. the Brave and the Bold. You're gonna disagree, Graham. Where Batman the Brave and the Bold, I thought was definitely it was so different. No, in I, terms of what I, it, I completely disagree with that okay. because I think the spectacular Spider Man was smart in how a it's the first Gwen Stacy we ever had that's true. in a real that's true. instance, and that's a huge decision to make because they did it at a time where the movie just came out and it was still Mary Jane. And they, they, they did a great job of also introducing villains, but doing it in a little bit of a different way. Rhino is much different in Spectacular Spider-Man than in the comics. Electro is much different in Spectacular Spider-Man than Spectacular Spider-Man is in terms of how, how they did it in the comics. Um, Shocker, the, the way they carried this into the six. I mean, they did a lot of cool things. They did it in ways that were different than the 90s show, which I think is probably the most well-known, and the comic book. So I, I disagree. I think that yeah. Spider-Man, Specs Spider-Man was not cookie cutter at all. And I yeah. think putting him in high school I mean, is also a bold decision as well. I mean, it's a great show. I mean, it, I mean, it's definitely one of my favorite shows. But I just, you know, I just felt like it. It, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was told fantastic stories. We both loved the show. Yeah, but I don't know something. Something about it just it just didn't do it for me. Quickly, why not? Uh, I have X Men animated series. I thought that that's I I was shocked it wasn't on your list because I think X Men animated series, in terms of taking what the comic books did mm-hmm. and creating real story arcs and real um and, and putting real emotion behind their characters and their development, I thought that it was really groundbreaking and and it's and it's showed storytelling. Yeah, it's, I I would say the same thing for Spider Man nineties uh series as well. It, honestly, it was just the campiness of <laughs> most, a lot of... I'll they admit, did. the juggernaut, the juggernaut <laughs> YouTube video certainly doesn't help it, but I think um, even if you try to watch it now, I think I think if you get away from that, I think it still holds up. I would also say that really quickly, um, I think uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, had it had more seasons, uh, would have definitely um, earned a spot in this yeah, discussion. Yeah, Wolverine and the X-Men, I think, yeah, that's just one of those. That, they're like, uh, you know, the, the player that got, they got the injury... Injury real yeah. season, they got cut short. They Grant Hill, you know. They just didn't get enough time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Give us your ideas of what you think should be on the Mount Rushmore of superhero animated cartoons. We'll have plenty more Mount Rushmore to discuss. We think it's a great way to drive conversation. We want to hear what you guys think. Like and subscribe. And uh, that's it. So thank you guys. Later.